a lot of people just try to try to muscle it, but just nice and smooth is the way to go. I'm gonna just throw, throw these over there, warm up. It's one of those things where I'm like, I mean, I'm so stoked to, to like take up this adventure, but I'm gonna miss like seeing everyone. I'm kinda, kinda ready to be done with the school part of things, but um, I'm definitely gonna miss seeing my buddies around all the time. All right. Yeah, so then after I graduate, I'll head out to Portland, Oregon in Disc Golf National Pro Tour. It's a 27 hour car ride. So take a couple days to get out there. Starts off, this is, this is just kind of like my only little free space really. And then I'll be in Utah for three weeks. This, uh, this cooler is my fridge. And I'll go to Illinois, Iowa, power strip that connects to the solar on that side of things. Every inch of space in here matters. Two weeks of Michigan, Minnesota, Illinois, and then we built we built this this cabinet that opens up Kentucky, and then like Delaware, Massachusetts, Vermont. If it's cloudy, then I I kind of gotta depend on depend on something else and kind of just use everything sparingly. Tennessee and then the Carolinas. It's definitely a different style of living to get used to, but I'm I'm loving it so far. So I signed up, it was like around January, February of 2016. So I was a junior in high school. So I, I played like three, four tournaments that year. And the first ever tournament I played was like 40 mile an hour wins, and which is extremely difficult to play in. And the disc golf community is so fun to be around and all the people are super supportive. And I, I remember taking like an eight on a par five. I had all these pros like, oh nice, like tell me nice job. And I was like, this is awesome. Like everyone's so nice. And yeah, from there on I was kind of hooked. Mid-summer last year, I qualified for the United States Disc Golf Championships, which is like the Masters, basically, of disc golf. And it was just like sign after sign of like, okay, you, you like showing signs that you got what it takes. I'd say this is a, it was like the first thing I checked out on my on my first visit. I came here, my mom and I came out and played around. The, I think the hardest choice I ever had to make was the college I picked, and that's probably the best choice I've ever made, just the, the smaller feel. I wrestled for 15 years. I didn't this year with everything going on, but all that knowledge of like knowing my body and how to kind of control some stuff and really just how to work hard and kind of grind out any problems that you're having has helped a bunch. And uh, VK, or Eric Franklin, is a big, big motivator. And getting to be really close with the team, I, I wouldn't change a thing. I'd say central for sure. It, it lets you test out you your skills in all kinds of areas that usually you'd be forced into one specific thing. And then a lot of people I feel like, they're like, oh, I've already done two years of this, so I might as well finish it and then get stuck with something that they don't like. But I mean, here, I mean, I'm, I'm literally getting to live my dream. So, I mean, in anything that you, I mean, if you, if you work hard enough and really want it, then you can make it happen. So I think that's the main thing.